Hi students. Today we are going to discuss potential due to point charge. Potential due to point charge. Already in first lesson, you came to know electric field intensity due to point charge at some point which is at a distance r. Electric field intensity at this point P. What is the formula you got? E is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. This is the electric field intensity at this point P which is at a distance small r from point charge. Same like that. Now we are going to discuss what is the potential at this point P due to this point charge that is positive charge at a distance r. Now assume a point charge Q and we are going to find potential at this point P. At what distance this point P is from Q means r. Now we have to find potential at this point P due to this point charge at a distance r. This one we are going to calculate. Very very important derivation. This is important for five marks. They will ask define potential and derive the equation due to point charge they will ask. Now what is the definition of potential we can do? What is the definition of potential means already we discussed the amount of work done. The amount of work done to bring unit positive test charge from infinite distance to a point P within the electric field and against to the direction of the electric field. Where is this point P means within the electric field. What is the direction of the electric field? It will be K. So while bringing this charge, how much work we are going to do? Work done. So for this work done, we are taking a small distance from A to small distance A to let us assume this is dx. The point P is at what distance R? Now what is the distance between A and charge? What is the distance between A and charge we are assuming means this is nothing but x. Now we brought Q0 up to A. A is at what distance? X. Now again we are taking small distance from A to B. That is nothing but dx. To move this charge Q0 from A to B through distance dx. How much work we are doing means dw work. Dw. A small amount of work in dw to move small distance dx from A to B. Which charge we are bringing? Positive test charge. Q0. Q0 we are moving from A to B. To move from A to B, how much work we did? D double. What is the direction of the force? What is the direction of the force means? This positive charge is repelled by Q. Because this is also positive, this is also positive. Repulsive force. What is the distance direction? We are moving distance like this, dx. Force is acting like this. What is the angle between F and dx? Theta is 180 degrees. How much work we did? We are going to calculate first. First here we came to the work done formula. What is the work done formula? W is equal to F S cos theta. Did you remember? W is equal to F bar dot S bar. F S cos theta. Now how much work we did here? DW. Therefore write DW. How much force we are applying means F. What is F we are going to write? What is the distance we move? Dx distance. Dx. What is theta here? What is the angle between F and Dx? F and Dx. What is the angle here? 180 degrees. Therefore, cos 180. What is cos 180 value? Dw is equal to F Dx. Cos 180 value minus 1. Therefore, dw is equal to minus f dx. Call it as equation number 1. So dw is the small amount of work done to move 
charge qr from a to b through distance dx zero so how much force is acting now force is nothing but whenever charge is charge q not is at a what is the distance between a and charge q means x now what is the force by its law coulomb's law by coulomb's law what is the force between two charges equation f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square here q1 is q q2 is what is the charge here q naught q naught by distance is x substitute this f in equation number 1 then you will get dw in terms of dw is equal substitute f in equation number 1 in equation number 1 so what is f means 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by x substitute dw is equal to minus what is f value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by x square what is remaining is dx now we substitute it in equation number 1 then we got this equation here dw is there we want work done to get work done integrate integrate on both sides integrate on both sides whenever we are doing integration once again see here we are bringing charge q naught from where to where infinite distance to what distance r distance infinite distance means here to here is infinite here to here is r so we are moving charge from infinite distance to R distance. Therefore, integrate this one between the limits infinite to R. Integration on both sides. Integral dW is equal to so integral 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by x square dx. Between the limits spread to where? Infinite to R distance. This is nothing but integration. Yesterday I gave in second session integral formulas to apply here. Now what is integral dw? So what was the formula we gave yesterday? Integral dx. Integral dx is x. What is another formula I gave? Integral a to b x power a dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 between the limits a to b. So b power n plus 1 by n plus 1 minus a power n plus 1 by so these two formulas we are going to apply in this equation. C1 square. So integral dx is x. Now integral dw is w. Okay, I am applying this formula. Integral dx is x. Then integral dw is w. Now in this constant dimension, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught is constant. Write this side and the dx by x square we are going to write. How we are going to write it next? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught integral infinity to r. What is the real? 1 by x square. 1 by x square means how we will write? x power minus 2 dx. Once mathematics people start with this integral equation, this one you can do very easily. But here first time we are using write 1 by 1 minus q q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught. So what is the integration for this one? In place of n, what is the real? Minus 2. In place of n, x1. In place of dx, dx1. So here apply this one. The x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. In place of n, what is the real? Minus 2. Therefore, what is apply? Minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. Between the limits a to b. Here, infinite to r. So minus q q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught x power minus 2 plus 1. How much? Minus 1. Minus 2 plus 1. How much? Minus 1. Between the limits infinite power. So now what we have to do? We have to substitute in x first to b next a. This is upper limit, this is lower limit. In this in place of a and b, what is there? R. So in place of b and R is R is there. R substitute. So this minus into minus plus. So q q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught. So x power minus. How we will write x power minus now? 1 by 
After writing like this, you can substitute R and Q Q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught in place of x R in place of x minus 1 by infinity. Same this formula. In place of x B in place of x A. What is 1 by infinity value? Zero. Therefore, Q Q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught because 1 by infinity value is zero. What is LHS here? Double. So this is the work done to bring positive charge, test charge from infinite to point B, which is the distance R. Now bring this Q naught here. Double U by Q naught is equal to Q by 4 by epsilon naught. What is double U by Q naught? The amount of work done on unit positive test charge to move from infinite distance to point B within the electric field against to the direction of the electric field. How we define it? This is nothing but electric potential. Therefore, V is equal to V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Since V is equal to W by Q naught. So, this is the final equation. Final equation means potential due to point charge at distance R. Now, what is the potential at this point B due to this charge Q at a distance R means Q by 4 pi epsilon R. What is the electric field you got? Q by 4 pi epsilon R R square. Now here in case of R square what do you got? R you got. This is the equation for potential due to point charge at some distance. Okay.